Terror mateys, here we go! Welcome to me pirate game! Let's see if we can kill the opposing ship! Hey guys, this is Project Days File. Welcome back to Ancient Warfare 2. Now today we've got some more awesome view suggestions. Thank you very much for that. So let's check out the first one, which comes from Alejandro Sea Rider. Now we are here on the largest map possible. Okay, there's a little checkbox that you can check here. It says large terrain. So it goes from this very tiny itty bitty little map to this ginormous map. And the reason we're gonna use this map is because we are gonna build the Great Wall of China. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. So let's actually go over here. And I think we can like start building right over here. Let's start off with the actual wall, I guess. Now we could use the ordinary little wall, I guess, that you... Wh wait, what the hell? There's actually two trees inside of each other here. That's kind of a tree bromance, I guess. <laughs> anyway, we could use these uh, standard blocks. But what if we go for a proper sized uh, Great Wall of China? I mean, it's the Great Wall of China, not, not the boring small wall of China. It's the big, awesome wall, and we're gonna use these to build that bad boy. So we will need to go from here all the way, oh my gosh, all the way over in the back. So that's gonna take a while. But for you guys, it's only gonna be a second. Oh boy, it's really coming together already. Look at this bad boy as far as the eye can see. Oh, and this is the last one. Bang, just like that. Now we've got the Great Wall of China. Look at this bad boy. And it's actually kind of in the center as well. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. So now we will need some defense on top of the wall. So let's start off. Now blue is gonna be the defenders, okay? And we will have arches to do that job. So let's see. I think we're just gonna go for the regular bowmen. And then we're gonna place them in 20s just like this. So it says only 20. But to have only 20 guys on the wall that's this big, that would be a waste, okay? Let's go ahead and place 20. And then another 20, I guess. And then a one more of 20 is that. No, we cannot fit that. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe maybe like 14. Oh, that is gonna be a beautiful. There we go. So now we've got this ginormous wall armed with archers. This is gonna be great. But of course, we will need something to take it down. So for that, we will use the horse crossbow, guys. That's this bad boy right over here. So let's grab the red unit of that. Oh, look at this. This is gonna be great. So as you can see, it's kind of bugged here, I guess. There's a lot of dead guys here. That seem to be disappearing slowly but surely. Okay, that's that's all right. <laughs> so we've got 40 horsemen all armed with the crossbows. Now, the last thing that we will need is 20 red fire bowmen. So let's place these 20 in the back here, I guess. Now, the plan is that these guys are gonna march forward and then the archers can start firing from the backs there. Perfect. Now, we usually only crash the game until like the end of the video. Let, let's move it forward to this point in the video. Okay, right in the beginning, let's crash the game completely because I think with all of these blocks... And all of these units is gonna be pretty laggy, but let's see. The assault on the Great Wall of China has begun. Can they bring it down? Oh, I am so curious to see. Come on, horsey guys. Shoot at the little towers. Come on, do so. Oh, well, they are shooting. Oh, this is pretty cool. But the arrows aren't really doing a whole lot, is there? I mean, they're, they're kind of... Oh, they're poking out of the Great Wall. Oh, no. <laughs> you can actually see the little arrow sitting here. Oh my, oh my gosh, that guy got shot in the face. Oh, that's what we want to see. There's another guy dead here. Oh, they're actually working on it this time. Now, I don't know if most of them can be reached, actually, because these are so far in the back, and they're just shooting at their own little turrets. What the hell? Did we mess up a little bit here? Oh, but wait, hold on. The fire bows are moving in. Come on, boys. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. I said pew, pew. Do so Come on, do something. This is not a sword. You're holding a bow. That thing is supposed to shoot. Oh, here we go. They know what to do now. Now, set this thing on fire. Come on, light it up. I don't think it's gonna be set on fire, is it? It's just not gonna do any- Oh, wait, hold on, we got the first tower down! Oh, that is fantastic! And another one over there! And now we are making some progress, boys, come on! We need to break into China, boys! Let's bring this wall down! Here we go! China, here we come! What is over here on this side? Now, this is China, apparently. It's, it's very green and foresty for a China land, though. But it looks like they are marching for... Whoa, what was that? But it looks like they are marching forward. Here we go! One tower after the other! Break it down brick by brick! What, what, wait, hold on. What, what is this guy doing? What the hell are you doing, buddy? Are you stuck inside your own tower? That looks very silly! How did you even get yourself in this position? Oh, and he's gone. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, look at this. The wall is almost entirely down. I think the red team is gonna take it home. They're gonna go and march into China and take over China, I guess. And while these guys are breaking down the wall, let's move over to the next comment coming from Devlin Fem Gaming, who says, do a line of hand cannons. You're in the hand cannon army versus the strongest unit in the game. Now, guys, in a previous video, we actually tested it. And the Lord of Lords is apparently the strongest unit in the game. So let's put him up against a whole bunch of those hand cannon guys. Now, guys, I heard a rumor, okay? 
that the Lord of Lords lives in the forest, that he likes to hide himself in between the trees, that he stalks upon his prey, the prey that wanders through the forest and gets caught by surprise. Where does he hide though? No one knows except for us because he's right over here. Hello. <laughs> So here he is, the Lord of Lords, let's actually, oh, hold on, let's actually move him over here in the sun, so that we can kind of see this guy, hello, what is this though, how do we, oh, here we go, this is the Lord of Lords with, of course, the glorious uh, golden sword, he is the strongest guy in the game, now let's put him up against some of those uh, hand cannon boys. So we will need a line of blue hand cannons, let's place them in kind of like a V shape, maybe that's, is that a good idea? Like, like this, I guess. Let's, let, let's place it right over here, okay? Let's see what happens. And then we are gonna place the Lord of Lords. Well, actually, not this many, though. Holy crap. We are gonna place one of this guy right here in the center, okay? Let's, let's see what happens. He's actually gonna be uh, right over here in the trees. There you go. Now, keep in mind, guys, last time he almost defeated an entire army of Lords. Now, let's see what he can do against these hand cannon guys. I have a good feeling about this, okay? I, th wait, wait, hold on. Wait, what? What? What is this? Why did he die in one... St <laughs> He died in a second. What the hell? You know what? Maybe we should just grab this guy and, uh, and place him a little bit closer and then place a few more just to even out the battle a little bit, okay? Because he said you need a line of hand cannons. So I kind of figured that this is a line, I guess. But let's place four more of these guys. Have an army of five of them. And then we are going to place ourselves in there as well because we are going to have one of the distance weapons, of course, the hand cannon. No armor, though. We are going to be as naked as all of our friends. Let's place ourselves right over here there we go all right this is much more of a challenge let's see if we can kill all of these lords all right come on can we actually fire here bang there we go that did absolutely nothing we are we actually suck at this game okay come on pew in the face oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy let's run let's run they're coming for us pew oh it takes so long to reload though no all of my buddies are going down oh wait we got a guy though we killed him all right oh that is fantastic oh no 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 <laughs> all of our friends are dead We've got like one more buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, help me out here. Oh, how did I lose so much HP? What happened? Did I get shot by my own teammates? I think so. Okay, pew! In the face! Oh my gosh, this guy's too strong. Maybe we should grab the shield or something. And the heavy sword. Oh no, now he's gonna kill my friend. No! <laughs> oh wait, we got him! We did it! We defeated the army of Lord of Lords! Next suggestion comes from Seokano who says, Pirate Wars! That's all I need to see, okay? That sounds freaking amazing! Let's get building! So we are gonna have these walls, okay? And these are gonna be our ships. So we will have two ships facing each other with the pirates on top of there. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six... Wait, hold on. Six of these bad boys like this. And then another row right there. Let's actually place corners over here as well. That's gonna give us... A little bit more of a uh, closed off space. There you go. One ship has been completed. Now let's place this unit right over here, okay? Close enough so that we can still shoot the enemy ship. All right, ship number two has been completed. Let's grab our freaking pirate crew. So we can use only the weapons that use gunpowder, which means we can only use one weapon. <laughs> Because this guy, the cannon, can only stand on the floor. And this is all of the sea, okay? The black stuff is all of the sea. And you don't want to go into the black stuff. So if this guy is over here, he's dead, okay? He sank to the bottom. He's, he's gone forever. So let's get rid of that guy. Uh, I mean, oh, hello. He's still here, though. <laughs> what? So let's go ahead and grab the cannon crew. That's gonna be the most badass cannon crew we have ever had, okay? Let's see. Can we fit this? Oh, look at this. an entire army. Let's actually grab... A little bit more of, uh, of like this, I guess. A fire line, okay? Oh, and they're gonna be placed just like this. Beautiful. Do the same thing over on the blue team. But of course, we are gonna have to remove one guy from over here. Just to make it a little bit more fair. Because we are gonna be participating in this battle, okay? I've always wanted to be a freaking pirate. Here we go. Okay, you know what? Let's actually just place a few cannons. Because a ship has a cannon, okay? Every ship has a freaking cannon. So let's, let, let's just go for a few cannons. Here we go. This is the Pirate Wars. Let's get our mateys, here we go, welcome to me pirate game! Let's see if we can kill the opposing ship! And oh my gosh, did we kill all of their cannon guys already? That went a lot faster than- oh, we got a man down! We got a man down! Arr, matey, that's not good! That is not good, okay, let's shoot this guy in the face, pew! Hell yeah, what a beautiful shot! That's what the hell I am talking about! Oh my gosh, what was that?! Dude, our pirates are freaking insane! Look at that! And the cutting blow goes to James if I hell yeah! Next suggestion comes from Roblox player who says Ice Lord versus the Fire Lord. For that we will need two, not just any castle, okay? We will need two gorgeous 
quality castles for these lords. Let's start off by using these uh, spiky things. These are fantastic, okay? It's gonna prevent the castle from falling over too fast. And it's also gonna look pretty damn badass. All right, here we go. These are the two castles. I know there's nothing on the sides, okay? That's just so that the game lags a little bit less, all right? So let's go over here. This is gonna be the Ice Lord, all right? Let's see, what do we need for the Ice Lord? Now, of course, we are gonna need an Ice Lord, right? So here we go. This is the Ice Lord. Look at his translucent armor and sword. This is gonna be great. To back him up are 10 normal sword guys, five bowmen, one king in the back of course with his beautiful shiny pimp armor, 10 sword guys on horses, and lastly 10 X-Men. So this is the Ice Lord's army, let's head over to the blue team, because this is of course gonna be the fire, wait a minute, why is the fire lord not, oh my god. <laughs> All right, so we changed it up. Just ignore these red guys. There's a little bit of a bug. Let's move over to the Fire Lord side. This is gonna be the red side, okay? We're gonna do it well this time. So it, of course, starts with the Lord of Fire. Look at that bad boy. Five swords. This time we're gonna have ten bowmen. And then we need ten shield men. Now, I think these men have a pretty big shield, so let's go for these. We're gonna also need one king over here in the back. And lastly, five of the X-Men. All right, here we go. This is the Lord of Fire versus... The Lord of Ice! I am very curious to see which Lord is gonna be victorious. It is the Battle of the Elements. Oh boy, and the Battle of the Elements is pretty rough. Because there's blood flying all over the place. And yes, the blue stuff is actually blood. Can you believe it? Oh, this is a total carnage. Jesus Christ, everything is getting chopped up. Oh, but the Lords are entering the fire. Here we go. Oh, I, wait a minute. Is the Lord of Fire dead already? Holy crap. This guy got completely chopped up. Look at this, his little sword is over here. Jesus, that went a lot faster than expected. Look at the freaking Lord of Ice is completely kicking butt here. Hell yeah, that's what we want to see. We want to see some butt kicking. He's got an arrow in his face though. That's, <laughs> that's not good though. That cannot be good. And they're fighting inside a tree. That's very weird. What's going on in the tree? Oh, hello. Three people. Oh my God. <laughs> Close up. Overhead chopping, that's a bad thing, all right. Oh, and now the archers are firing away. Can they make it? Oh, he's actually pinned to his freaking dead body. That's crazy. Look at all these arrows, though. Oh, but now he's gonna die, right? Oh my gosh, he's just gonna walk straight through. And where did that guy come from? Did he just spawn a guy? That is weird. But I guess he's just gonna die now, isn't he? He's gonna take a lot of arrows. This guy can take a freaking beating, though. He took so many arrows to the face. And he, what? He even took down an entire castle part. Oh my gosh. You know what? He went down with honor, all right? Oh, but the backup crew is coming in. They should be winning this, okay? Now, there is a little bit of a spiky castle going on. So I don't know if this guy is... Oh, yep. He's gonna die immediately. Jesus Christ. But that means we are gonna have a draw. Because these archers are just gonna shoot those guys that are gonna come in. And uh, the kings are just gonna do nothing. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please do a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next Project Days 5 video.